In this video, we're going to be talking about the different transitions that are available to you in PowerPoint 2016. Now, a transition is an effect that plays when you move between one slide and the next slide. The classic example of a transition that also applies to film would be a fade between one shot or another shot. You can do the same kind of thing here, except instead of video footage, you're simply dealing with slides. Now this is the complete list of transitions that are available to you inside of PowerPoint. You see that there are three different categories. The first one is subtle, second one is exciting, and the third one is dynamic content. A subtle effect is going to take a back seat to the content itself. Whenever you use a subtle transition inside of PowerPoint, the effect itself is not going to be particularly noticeable. It's trying to take a back seat to the content itself. It's not trying to show off. It's just trying to provide a smooth transition between the two slides. So for instance, if we try fade out here, you'll notice it immediately gives you a preview. So you saw that it faded between the first slide, the title slide, and the second one right here. So this would be the effect that would play when you move between slide one and slide two. An exciting effect is going to be one that intentionally stands out. It's going to be a lot more dramatic than a subtle effect. And in this case, maybe it's trying to be a little bit more fun than any of the subtle effects because the subtle effects are very passive. They don't really get your attention so much. And with these exciting effects, you might be able to get a little bit more of an ooh-ah reaction from your audience. So for instance, let's go ahead and try this fracture effect and you see that the screen basically shatters into pieces. Now, that's not the kind of thing you really expect out of a PowerPoint presentation, so to a degree, you would remember that when it's presented to you in a PowerPoint presentation. The difference between a dynamic content transition and the first two categories is that in a dynamic content transition, the text and other objects in the slide also move in addition to the background itself. So if we try a conveyor here, you'll notice that the text slides off screen and the next text on the second slide actually slides onto the screen from the right. Let's go ahead and demonstrate a few more examples of a transition. Let's start with wipe, which is a classic example of a transition. Let's also try cover here. And a couple more from the exciting category. Let's try origami. That one was actually pretty cool. And lastly, let's go ahead and try the honeycomb effect. Now, you can clearly see that the exciting transitions are a lot more dramatic than the subtle ones. Some of these transitions, though, you may have noticed actually have the option over here to modify the settings. Now, effect options are going to be specific to it, each transition. Uh, for instance, with the shape transition, you have the option to choose different kinds of shapes, like a diamond or a plus sign, or it can just be a inbox or outbox but that's not going to be the same with something like a fade. With a fade, you're going to have entirely different options. In this case, it fades through black, which means it's going to go to black, and then you'll have the new slide. Now, lastly, we're going to touch on these timing options over here. If you want a sound effect to play whenever a slide transitions, you need only set a slide here. For instance, we could put something like a uh, drum roll, and then go ahead and preview this fade transition. Now that drum roll was really short and we can increase the duration of the entire transition, which also will increase the duration of the sound effect uh, by increasing this over here. So let's make that a two second drum roll and then preview it once more. Okay, that's a little bit better. If you quickly want to apply the same transition to every single slide, you need only hit apply all, which is going to include all these different settings, including the transition you have selected, the effect options you've chosen for it, and the sound effects, if any. A typical PowerPoint presentation is going to have one guy standing up in front of a room with a projector screen, and that person may have a mouse clicker where he can easily choose when he wants the slides to transition, and he would do this whenever he's done with a slide. However, another option you do have is to make the slides automatically transition by checking this after box here and then setting a duration in seconds or even minutes for the transition to automatically take place. Now, before we wrap up here, one word of advice I would give is that if you're trying to put together a serious presentation, you should go pretty light on the exciting transitions because you don't want to totally overwhelm your audience with just the graphic effects. Most presentations inherently are supposed to be about the content and not the graphic effects that you can play around with. 
That said, transitions are a great way to make your slides flow a little bit better into each other and also to spruce up your presentation so that it's entertaining to listen to and watch. So that's all for this lesson in transitions. I'll see you in the next video.